Hey there guys and gals, it's me Norex and welcome back to another Intermediate C++ programming tutorial. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about interfaces. Alright, so what the hell is an interface? Now, as you can see I already have, I already have three classes here. Now, the thing with inheritance, is, uh, inheritance in C++ is you can actually inherit from multiple classes. So I can do public A, public B. Alright, and it's, it's all good until these guys both have the same integer or the same member or same whatever inside them so let's go ahead and make them public so I have these two public guys and let's go ahead and use C alright now if I try to run this there's gonna be there's not gonna be an issue right here but when I try to use A then there will be an issue alright so it says that C a is ambiguous. It doesn't know whether or not I'm trying to call A from the A class or A from B. Let's actually go and name it Foo. Foo from A or Foo from B. It doesn't know which one I'm trying to call. It just knows that it exists, but there are more than one instances. So this is a very, very terrible, horrible design. All right, <laughs> just, just never do this. Don't ever, ever, ever inherit from multiple classes. You always inherit from one class. Okay, but here's the thing. Let's consider the class. Um, let's consider something like, like um, a salad. All right, a salad is both food and appetizer. All right, or dessert. You know, whatever. It can be all of them. So how do we make something that um, that can inherit from all of them? Or let's say, let's say uh, you're trying to make a game, and you have a door class. Now this door can break, it can be opened, you could, you could open it, you could break it, you could uh, paint on it, you know, you could do whatever you want to do with it, alright, so, you know, whatever, etc. So you could break it, you could open it, you could paint on it, paint is kind of BS, so it's a pick lock. So you could pick the lock, you could open it, you know, you could pick lock it, you could use the key, or, you know, whatever. So you could do all those stuff the break open pick lock now these are all the things you could do with with your door now it would be kind of stupid to put you know create a whole bunch of classes like break breakable and then put everything breakable in there like you know you know what i'm talking about so you can't really have three classes that have the same function open and then and then give them to door and so that you can call door that open and and which one is going to be called all right, we don't know. So here's the thing. When we want to create some class that is going to inherit from multiple classes, we don't use a class. We use an interface. We always use an interface. You could inherit from one class and as many interfaces as you want. So one class at all times or zero, all right, zero or one, which, whichever you, you want, all right, so you could either go with zero classes or one class doesn't really matter um, but yeah you know zero or n interfaces doesn't really matter so your choice to inherit from one class or none at all or you know one interface or none at all you could just create a class like this and from nothing okay now let's go ahead and see how it works so instead of doing something like this in an interface there are some rules and yes there are these are these guys are actual actual rules so one there are no attributes there are no attributes this guy doesn't exist there are no attributes there are only functions and mem methods there are no member attributes number two all methods are pure virtual I'll talk about this in a second this, this guy right here and so this is, this is the most important rules that you need to know and there's a naming convention uh, they describe um, let's say let's say like this um, their name is an adjective is an uh, adjective that follows the character I so for example you do I openable, I breakable, 
Now you put this I here to uh, indicate that this is actually an interface. So breakable, openable, pick lockable, all that good stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and create these two right now. So I have an I openable, I have an I breakable. Now everything in there, there are absolutely no attributes, alright? So there is no like int foo or whatever. There are only methods and all methods are pure virtual. Now pure virtual means you put the virtual here, you know, as always, void open. And that's it. That is a virtual function, but to make it all pure, you need to put an equal to zero right here. So this is an absolutely pure and virtual function. It doesn't have any uh, it doesn't have any body. Like you could you could make it like this. Uh, but it requires you to give it a body. Like it's it's better to do it like that. But you could just do it like this and it will become pure virtual. Alright, so we could do something like that. Our breakable will have virtual void. Jesus, I can't even type today. Virtual void break. Takes nothing and is absolutely pure. Now one thing I like to do is I like to sometimes do define pure equals zero, something like that. Um and then instead of doing this guy right here, I could just say pure. Alright, so these guys are now equal to zero. But we're not going to do that just for the sake of simplicity. Now, there will be another class. Class door is going to go with I openable and I breakable. Okay, all good and dandy. But here's the thing now. Door will actually give me an error if I want to use it. Say door A, this will have an issue. Object of abstract class type door is not allowed, pure virtual function, whatever is has no overrider, pure virtual function, whatever has no overrider. Alright, so what it's saying is that, first off, we call these classes abstract classes. The classes that only have virtual, pure virtual class, pure virtual methods are abstract. So interfaces are nothing but abstract classes. In every single language, they're just abstract classes. Alright, just put that out of the way. So abstract class, only pure virtual methods, no attributes, and that's it. Now when you want to inherit from one of these guys, what you need to do is you need to override every single pure virtual function. You have to do that, or method rather. So you must always, all the time, do override these and make a body for these. So in door I definitely need to do something like here. Alright, so I need to obviously I definitely need to override it. So uh, we need to do open void override. And that's it. Um, void actually. Void open void override. Alright, so I have overridden the door and let's go ahead and override the break function. So we're going to override both of these guys. And now, as you can see, the error is gone. So what this means is that I the door is both openable and breakable. It means the player can open and break the door if he desires. Okay, um, there's one more keyword that I want to talk to you guys about. It's the final keyword. So you could put the final at the end of, uh, well, not here, at the end of the name of the class. So nobody else can inherit from door. I can't just, I can't do something like door x public door. This will actually give me an error because door is a final class. So yeah, this is a, this is a very important thing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you could put that there. But the point is, um, these are interfaces. These are what we call interface classes. And they're pretty goddamn awesome. And let me just tell you, tell you something pretty cool. There is a very important interface called iUnknown. Alright, this is a this is an actual interface that exists and you you don't see it but it's there it's like the matrix you don't see it but it's there now the entire dotnet framework i think in direct x and direct 2d and direct and everything like that is written around this guy right here everything there inherits from ionknown class okay or ionknown interface um so yeah you may not see them but they're very big and they're always there all right so um, and that's basically it. So these are um, these are the these are the two interfaces that we made. And this is the class that inherits from both of these. And um, just to recap, you gotta always override the pure functions, uh, the pure virtual functions. And this is a this is a pure virtual function. So you put this guy at the end of the function and it becomes pure virtual. 
and it has to be virtual, okay? You can't just take this guy out and expect it to work. It doesn't work. Uh, pure specifier allowed only on virtual functions. So, yeah, you definitely need to do something like this. Anyhow, guys, that's been it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood something. If you have any questions, do ask them in the comments. If you like this video, do leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video a lot, consider hitting that big red subscribe button because I would love it. Anyhow, guys, that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you, uh, well, I'm just repeating myself anyways. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.